Well, good morning to you from Campus Connect Forecast. We're staying quiet this morning. We do have a few showers up into Pontotoc County, and this is going to continue to filter its way down. Mainly, though, we'll just see clouds for the time being, but we do have an elevated threat for severe weather all throughout the Magnolia State. Slight risk extending all the way off into Arkansas, down into the, uh, to the Gulf Coast, and that's going to be the story here for us today, is mainly we just have cloud cover out there. and We're going to start to see those dew points start to burgeon up here. 64 for a dew point, winds out of the south at around 10 miles an hour, helping to filter in that moist, warm air. 70, I can't remember the last time we started off a day at 70. As that temperature continues to build, that's going to help to increase our instability ahead of this front. Look at this front. 54 in Fort Smith, 75 in Shreveport. This is a very strong system that's going to be making its way through. A lot of moisture ahead of this as well. 66 in Jackson, 64 in the Golden Triangle. A 20 degree dew point drop behind that, down to 43 degrees in Fort Smith. So right now, like I had said before, just cloud cover for us to contend with, but a really intense system system off into Arkansas, stretching all the way down into Texas. This system has tornado watches associated with it in yellow, severe thunderstorm warnings in pink. Us, we're just under a high wind advisory at the moment, but as the day progresses, things are going to change. Around the 4 p.m. hour is when we can expect this front to make its way through. Heavy, heavy rain, thunderstorms, hail, wind, all possible with this system. We could even see some Thunderstorms firing up ahead of this system that could have some tornadic activity associated with that. So don't think that it's just going to be this frontal passage that's going to be the issue here, as we could see a lot ahead of this as well. As this passes through, much drier air making its way in, much cooler air as well. So the next few days will be nice if we can just get through today. Winds in excess of 50 to 70 miles an hour associated with this. Large hail, golf ball to hen egg size. Isolated tornadoes, again, mainly out front of this system, but there could be some embedded within that line of storm. So please be careful as this thing is heading your way. Please start to make those um, safety precautions if you can. 82 is what we'll reach today. Severe storms again coming in around that uh, late afternoon hour. Everything will clear out for us tonight, though. We'll cool down to around 62 degrees. It's going to turn cold pretty quick. We're not going to gain a whole lot into tomorrow either. A lot more comfortable, though. It's been muggy and humid all day to yesterday and as we start off the day today. But good news, as we progress throughout the next few days, it's going to be beautiful. 75 on Wednesday, sunny Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, really all week long here as we start to build the temperature back up to 87 by Saturday. So we're going to get warm again. So if you've got any outdoor plans, you might want to do that earlier on in the week. Well, thank you for tuning, tuning into your Campus Connect forecast with your meteorologist, Jason Sadeko. Have a great day.